you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? Ooh, Ron, who is this? I know that's not me. <laughs> What's up guys, today I'm gonna to be taking you through a two light setup. I'm using a Godox 8600 with a grid attached and also you can see here a colored gel. Super dope shoot and uh, I'm just gonna show you guys the BTS and I'll be putting the pictures up as well. So let's uh, get into the video. I see you looking over your shoulder. Let me make my way over. Excuse me, Miss Lady. I'm more of a neutral color guy, and during this shoot, I decided to just do a different color. You know, she was wearing all black, so I decided to change the color backdrop to blue, but then make it pop with a little bit of red in the back. And uh, and blue and red are complementary colors as well too. So it kind of just it kind of worked, and the images speak for themselves. So I was really happy. Okay, so here I decided to add a fan. It's something that I've always incorporated in most of my studio shoots. If a model has nice hair or hair long enough to where you can see the wind moving, but uh, it, it adds dimension, it adds character, it, it just brings the, the image alive, and it's something that I highly encourage you guys to start incorporating in your shoots. Um, you know, hair is so important. If you can get movement inside those shots, it just brings everything to life. So uh, I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I usually just use a cheap fan from Amazon, but I'll put everything in the description. So uh, I just want to touch on that. So uh, yeah, definitely incorporate fans and movement in here inside your shots. It's going to just make everything come out so much better. One thing I want to talk about is just the importance of having a team, having a makeup artist, having a stylist, curating ideas collectively together. That's when your images will start to stand out and be really polished. And that's what we did here. We had a makeup artist, we had a stylist on set. It's just really important to have a team. Be creative. Don't be afraid to step outside the box. Change up your lighting, change up your backdrops. Thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys have any questions about this shoot, if you guys want to see the editing process, anything you guys want to know, just leave it down in the comments and I'll be happy to do a video on it. And uh, until the next video, guys, peace.